police officer gets a letter from nine-year-old girl, finds $10 bill and a message inside. As a rule, children since their infancy hear stories about strict police officers, so they learn to be careful with representatives of law and authorities. Children grow up in an atmosphere of fear of people in uniform, and they clearly understand what the consequences might be if they make the wrong joke with them. However, some children show great ingenuity and independence to confirm or deny the stories of adults, and it happens that they end up discovering a different side of the cops. The officers appear in their eyes as kind and compassionate people who work day and night for public safety. Brooke Yost in 2017 least expected to get help from the police officer who was standing right behind her in line at the checkout counter. The moment Brooke realized she didn't have any money, the police officer told the cashier that he'd pay for the girl's purchase himself. Brooke didn't know how to react to the policeman's actions, so she threw him a quick thank you and ran out of the store embarrassed. Already at home, the girl realized that she owed the policeman the money and a proper thank you. After thinking for a while, Brooke decided to write a letter to the officer thanking him. Along with the letter, she put a $10 bill in the envelope. She included her name, age, and described the situation that occurred at the Sheets Mini Mart. The letter said that Brooke found herself at the register with no money at all and couldn't pay for the donuts she'd chosen. She also said that a kindly policeman had volunteered to pay for her. However, at that moment, the girl couldn't pay him back in any way. What followed were these words, I give you this money, I want to thank the police officer once again for his responsiveness. Take care of yourself, Brooke. After a while, the letter found its recipient. It turned out to be Officer Chad Savannah. He was the one who had paid for Brooke's donuts that day at the market. Officer Savannah told his colleagues the backstory of the letter. The police officers were fascinated by the little girl's act of kindness. Of course, they didn't want Brooke's money. The cops liked the way the girl acted, so they decided to pay her a visit and thank her for her concern. The officers gave Brooke a gift certificate to the toy store worth $50. The girl could go to the local store and buy something she wanted, but Brooke charmed them with her act this time too. She didn't buy anything for herself, but gave the police officer's gift to a charity. The girl's selflessness delighted the officers. They then organized an excursion to the station where they gave her gifts and sweets. The officers told the girl they were touched by her kindness and pure heart. It is impossible not to recognize the role of the parents who were able to bring up their child with dignity. Brooke Yates' story is extraordinary. While phenomenal, Brooke's act is not the only case that would impress people in uniform. A little boy from New Zealand made news headlines for calling the emergency services and calling the police to look at his new toys. Even though a call of this nature is not considered an emergency, police officers did respond to a funny request from a four-year-old boy. They went to the address in Invercargill on the South Island and even recorded video of the incident. Officer Constable Kurt came to evaluate the toddler's toys. The boy showed the police officer his toys and Officer Kurt in turn showed the toddler the squad car, put a cap on his head, and lifted him onto the hood of the car. Before he drove off, the policeman told the child how to properly use the emergency number. Of course, the stories of good-hearted Brooke Yotes and the funny boy from New Zealand charmed and made the officers smile. But a girl from Texas managed to help police officers whose day couldn't be called easy. One day in 2017, in the city of San Antonio, eight-year-old Paige's attention was drawn to a group of police officers sitting in a restaurant. She approached the officers and asked why they looked so sad. The officers responded that they were grieving for Officer Michael Moreno, who'd recently died in the line of duty. Then the girl offered to say a prayer with her for the officer who had died. The police officers were touched by the child's heartfelt gesture. And in fact, thanks to sincere and heartfelt children like Brooke, a four-year-old boy from New Zealand and eight-year-old Paige, it's clear that kindness never goes unnoticed. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.